this is how we analyze a pedigree. So we're going to take a look at the pedigree, and the first thing we're going to ask ourselves, are there both males and females affected? So if a box or a circle is shaded in, that means the person is affected. They have the disorder. If it is not shaded in, that means they are not affected. So in this case, I see that we have one, two, three, four males affected, and one, two, three females affected. So if there's just about an equal amount of males and females affected, that means it's an autosomal disorder. Meaning, this is something that happens to our chromosomes, numbers 1 through 22. So let's take a look. We, our directions say, write the appropriate genotypes for each family member. Being tune deaf, that means not being able to hear a tune, is dominant to normal tune perception, meaning being able to hear the tune correctly. So let's make a key. If you are tune deaf, you're going to have at least one capital T. So what are our other genotypes? Capital T, lowercase t, or we could be T, capital T, capital T. Normal tune perception, normal tune, can be represented by a little t. So in order to be, to have normal tune perception, your genotype is little t, little t. So let's see how we're going to give each person their genotype. What we can start out with is what we know. We know all the people that aren't shaded in have normal tune perception. So we can go in right now and give everyone that is not shaded in two little t's. Go ahead and do that now on your paper. Okay. Then the next thing I can do is that I know that everyone that has um, a dark shade is tuned deaf. I know they definitely have at least one T. So I can go in right now and put one capital T for everyone that has a dark shade. Okay, I got them all. Okay, now we're going to start at the bottom to solve the mystery. We've got to figure out what the other letter is for these um, folks that are tuned deaf. Okay, so we need to work backwards. So what I do know is that this is a boy. I missed one right here. Okay, this is a boy. And he gets one allele from mom, and he gets one allele from dad. Okay, in this case, we know for sure since he's affected, who did he get this allele from? We see that dad is not affected, so dad could not have given him this capital T. What did dad give him? Dad can only give him a little t. Mom gave him the capital T. So this young man here is capital T, lowercase t. That's his genotype. Let's take a look here. This young man is affected. This female is affected. This female got, got one capital T from dad because look at mom. Mom has two lowercase t's. So the only thing that mom can give is a lowercase t. So for this case, we can see that mom gives a lowercase t to her daughter, and dad gives his uppercase t to the daughter. In this case, this young man here, he's affected. He has a capital T. He gets one capital T from dad, and what's he going to get from mom? The only thing that mom can give, a lowercase t. And then we keep working our way up. Here we see dad is affected, mom is not affected. 
So dad gave this young man a capital T. What does mom give him? A lowercase t. Mom can only give a lowercase t, and dad gives a capital T. Okay, now take a look here. Mom can give a lowercase t. She gets a lowercase t from mom. Where did she get this other lowercase t from? She must have gotten it from dad. So we can fill in dad's other missing letter here. Okay, capital T from dad. What does this young lady get from mom? A lowercase t. Okay, here we see a young man unaffected. Capital T from mom, maybe. Or lowercase t from mom, maybe. Lowercase t from dad, maybe. And we see that this young man marries a woman that is unaffected. So all of their children have lowercase t's, unaffected. And in this case, this young man marries a woman who is also unaffected. Their children are unaffected. So one other thing we want to decide is, in this case, it's autosomal. Is it recessive or dominant? If it's seen in every generation, then it's dominant. If it skips a generation, then it's recessive. So let's take a look. I see it in this generation. I see it in this generation. I see it in this generation. And I see it in this generation. So this is autosomal dominant.